Hey y'all, this is Battle Means by Omari, back at you with another video. So this is my review to Manga Issue 61. Sorry it took a while for me to get through to actually reading it. But this issue pretty much went the way I thought it would. <laughs> I mean, it was it, 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 it was clear cut and dry how it would go, how it would start, and how it would end. You know, Vegeta and Moro are having a fight. Like, it's going back and forth. Like, you could tell Vegeta has, had gotten stronger from his training on Planet Yadarat. I mean, the guys, it's an actual fight now. They're going back and forth with the hits and stuff like that. And Piccolo, out of nowhere, says the weirdest thing. He says, <laughs> Vegeta has never been one to misread an opponent's strength. Never been one to misread an opponent's strength. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, man. That's why I say it's it's sometimes it's hard to understand or believe that when writing Dragon Ball Super, if Toriyama or Toyotaro or even the editors, if they've actually watched Dragon Ball Z, is it's crazy. But anyway, Goku can sense that something's going on. Like Vegeta's like actually there's something strange about Vegeta's technique when he's fighting uh, Moro. And apparently every time Vegeta hits Moro, he's draining his energy out of him. Like the energy that Moro has absorbed when Vegeta hits him, that energy is going back to where it came from. So Vegeta's making like a spirit, like a sort of spirit bomb, except it's not a bomb. It's going back to the people. It's like a reverse spirit bomb almost. Man, that joint, man, that is terrible. Like, what? Are you serious? It's called fissure. Fissure. And, oh my goodness. Reading that just... <laughs> I mean, I get that they wanted to give him something new, you know, as a fan service to the Vegeta fanboys, but that was just terrible. It was terrible. Apparently, it's a technique that Goku's known about but never got around to learning. And, you know, it's terrible. It's bringing people back to life that Moro killed within the past months. It's giving them their life back. So <laughs> Vegeta's a life back giver now. And Moro reverts back to his old shaggy self. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not feeling that at all. And, you know, as usual, Vegeta talks too much before he actually delivers the killing blow. And Moro goes up to his minions and he absorbs them. Physically, he like physically absorbs these guys and he swallows them in a way. <laughs> they actually show him swallowing the guys. And he transforms into this form where he completely loses his identity that we all known and you know that he's had the goat you know the goat thing that's what separated him really from all the other previous villains was his goat look which i've given credit to in the past you know he looks like a real villain you know you can look at my past videos i've always credited moro's design and now he looks like Cell. He looks like Cell with goat antlers. Super had completely ruined what little originality it actually had. It threw it out the window with this. Completely. I mean, Super is <laughs> Super is such a letdown when it comes to things like this, man. I mean, it's ridiculous. The dude had his own identity and they threw it out the window. To give him the pretty boy cell look. Why? Why, 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 why? But, yeah, just like I said before in my uh, previous review of the last manga when Vegeta showed up that he's not beating Moro. I told y'all that. Vegeta will forever be behind Goku. I don't even care if he's stronger than Goku. He's not beating anybody over Goku. Which is why GT Vegeta is so much better because he's in his place. He knows that. And he has accepted that, that Goku is the best. You know, all this stuff that they're giving Vegeta is purely fan service. 
Super is a purely fan service series. And, you know, that's basically what I said. Vegeta is not going to win. Everybody was saying, oh, Vegeta's finally going to win. Vegeta's finally going to win. No, he's not. <laughs> that's like saying Vegeta was going to beat Frieza in the in uh, the Revival of F arc. I knew he wasn't going to beat Frieza. He lost to Frieza the same way he lost. He just lost to Moro. Talking before he delivers his final blow. That's forever going to happen. I told y'all. But, yeah, let me know how y'all feel about where Super is going. Moro has been completely ruined as a character design. Uh, that's out the window. So, let me know what y'all thought about this uh, volume. And I'll see you on the next video. Alright. And hold up. I have one question. Is there a reason why they haven't used Fusion on Moro yet? I mean, you know, thanks to Dragon Ball Super's terrible writing and retcons, they now have two fusions at their disposal that they can use whenever they want is there a reason why they haven't used this on moro yet i mean you know with vegeta's character development at the end of the boo arc he should have no problem fusing with goku right now why haven't they done it uh, i think it's safe to say that super has pretty much written themselves into a corner with these fusions, you know, they have Gogeta and they have Vegito that they can use whenever they want with no sacrifice since Vegito isn't permanent anymore. So explain why they have not used fusion yet on Moro. All right. See you on the next video.